If you're looking to generate reports automatically with Python, our new series of tutorials is a great starting point. You'll learn popular and easy to use Python tools with examples. The example report will include data tables and a chart, the two most common elements within reports. By the end, you'll be able to use Python to generate various reports, including Excel, HTML with templates, and PDF. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Justin. Welcome to Just Into Data, where data science materials are shared and made simpler for you. In this first video of the Reporting with Python series, let's start with an overview, as well as creating a simple example report in Python. To follow this tutorial, you need some basic knowledge, Python basics, which you can learn with our free Python crash course. I'll put links to all the resources in the description of this video. Python Pandas Basics, which you can learn with our course Python for Data Analysis with Projects. HTML Basics, which you can get a quick overview with HTML introduction from W3Schools. The standard formats of reports are Excel, HTML, and PDF. The good news is Python can generate reports in all these formats. So you can choose any of these formats depending on the needs of your report's users. If you only want a specific format report, you can finish this video and then skip to a later video for that format only. Let's quickly go through an overview table. It summarizes what will be covered in this series of tutorials. We can generate Excel reports using the Pandas library. This is handy if you want to use the report for further analysis in Excel. We can generate HTML reports using the Pandas library. This is when you want to embed the HTML in content, such as an email body or a website. Or we can generate HTML reports based on a template. So besides the Pandas library, we'll also need another library called Jinja2. When we are generating more complicated and repetitive reports, it's better to use a template. With the HTML report, we can also convert it to PDF using the library WheezyPrint. This is handy if you want both HTML and PDF formats. Or if you're really good with HTML, but want PDF as a final format. Or if you just want a PDF report, you can also generate PDF reports directly using Pandas and FPDF. Note that the library Pandas is needed for all the reports, since we need to manipulate and analyze data when building reports. Now, before generating reports in Python, we need to build a simple example report. We'll use historic data of the S&P 500 index from Yahoo Finance. Let's get to JupyterLab. Here is the code to pull the data for the reports. I won't go through the details since creating contents for the reports is not the main focus of this tutorial. You can download the code from the GitHub repo within the description. First, we import Live Finance and the Pandas libraries. Then, use a ticker of S&P 500 to grab its 10 years historical data. Such data is saved in this Pandas data frame called SP500 history. Then, we drop two unnecessary columns from the historical data frame. We'll also create a new column as close price 200 days moving average using the rolling and mean method of pandas, since that's what people often look at, and generated a basic summary statistics table based on the historical data. Now let's run it. At the end, you should have two pandas data frames for reporting. One is this SP500 history. It stores the 10 years historical data of S&P 500. The other one is SP 500 history summary, a simple summary statistics of the above data. Besides these two data frames, let's also create a line chart showing the series of close and close 200 moving average. The code here builds a line chart using the matplotlib and Seaborn libraries. We use the relplot function with data input as the two columns from SP500 history data frame, kind as line, and then we save it as a PNG file on your local computer called chart 
PNG. Let's run it. Then you should be able to find the chart.png file in your working directory. It includes two lines of close and close moving average time series data. This file will be included in the reports as well. Now we have everything needed to generate reports. Two data frames or tables and one chart. Please note that we generated this simple report quickly for demonstrations only. To learn about using Python for data analysis, please check out our course, Python for Data Analysis with Projects. The link is in the description below. The course covers the Pandas and Seaborn libraries. You'll learn how to manipulate data, create data visualizations, and so on, which are essential to create reports in Python. All right, in the next video, we'll use Python to generate an Excel report. Stay tuned. Did you learn something new in this video? If so, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just click the subscribe button below this video right now. If you're interested in more data science tutorials and courses, please head over to our website, justintodata.com. Thank you and see you in the next video.